In video 1 in this series, we covered setting up your FlyGarmin account, and in video 2, we demonstrated installing databases using an SD card. In this third video of the series, we'll take a look at how databases are updated through the FlightStream 510 using Database Concierge. To begin, you'll need to have Garmin Pilot installed on your mobile device. You can obtain Garmin Pilot by going to the application store for your device. Once you have Garmin Pilot installed, open the application and perform the following steps. First, press Home to bring up the menu. Then select Settings and Subscriptions. Now, sign into your Garmin Pilot account with the email and username used for your Fly Garmin account. If your subscription has been established, under Active, you should see your subscribed region and level with an expiration date showing in green font. You must have an active subscription to enable database concierge functionality in Garmin Pilot. Then select Jeppesen if using those databases. Here you sign into your Jeppesen account with your email address and password. After accepting the agreement, activate your license for downloads onto your mobile device. Then your databases for use with Garmin Pilot will begin to download. Now press Home, and then Connect. Press Database Concierge, and then Enable Database Concierge, followed by selecting Continue. In the Download Settings window under Database Concierge, Ensure that Auto Download Updates is selected on and Auto Delete Downloads is selected off. To prevent large files from updating with Database Concierge, under Transfer Exclusions, select to exclude IFR VFR charts and to exclude terrain. These charts may be updated using an SD card when needed. Any of these settings can be changed at a later date if desired. Now press Continue and accept the license agreement. Now press the Home icon, and then select Downloads. By selecting Jeppesen Charts, you can select the Jeppesen Charts you desire for use in Garmin Pilot. On the Downloads page, you will also see Garmin Pilot Downloads. Here you can select the download databases and charts for use with flight planning and navigation within the Garmin Pilot application if so desired. With Garmin Pilot set up for Database Concierge, in all of our databases downloaded, let's head out to the airplane and get things set up for conducting a database update using the FlightStream 510. To establish connectivity between your mobile device and the G1000NXI, you can follow the steps in the FlightStream 510 updates handout. We'll demonstrate these steps for you now. First, ensure that the system is not powered on, and then insert your FlightStream 510 into the bottom slot of the MFD. Now, move the battery one switch to the on position. Once the system is up and running, go to the AUX page group connect setup page on the MFD. Ensure the FlightStream 510 is showing enabled next to Wi-Fi database import. Then we need to establish a Bluetooth connection between the mobile device with Garmin Pilot and the G1000 NXI system. To establish Bluetooth connectivity, open the Bluetooth settings on your device Wait for the FlightStream 510 to show up and select it. A Bluetooth pairing request window will appear on your device with a code showing. Press pair to establish the connection. This request also shows on the MFD screen, so you need to press enter to accept the connection there. Your device should then appear in the paired devices list. Your device and the G1000 NXI will now connect automatically in the future. This is a good time to take note of your FlightStream's network name and the Wi-Fi password, which you will see right below the SSID line of the AUX Connect setup page. Note that establishing a Wi-Fi connection is only possible when Garmin Pilot is actively running on your mobile device, and new updates are available within the Garmin Pilot application. Your G1000 NXI will provide a notification when new databases are detected. Conducting a database update session from this point is fairly seamless and easy. With Database Concierge set up to upload everything but the largest database files, the file upload and syncing process occur in a relatively short time. So, let's see how this process works. 
following the steps in the FlightStream 510 database update handout. First, ensure the FlightStream 510 is inserted in the lower slot of the MFD. Now, move the battery one switch to the on position. Ensure that your mobile device's Bluetooth is connected to the FlightStream 510, and then start Garmin Pilot. On the initial startup page, here we can see while most of the databases are up to date, a chart view data update is available. Once you've loaded your crew profile, move to the AUX page group connect setup page to ensure that your Wi-Fi connection is enabled. And if databases are available for upload, you'll see a stack of cyan colored disks appeared in the page title field at the top of the MFD, along with a database update available notification at the bottom right of the MFD. Pressing update here will update all of the databases detected as new within the database concierge. An alternative method is to press the view key and select individual databases for uploading. For this example, we press the update key. At this point, the FlightStream 510 will attempt to make a Wi-Fi connection with your mobile device. If this is your first time attempting to make a Wi-Fi connection with the FlightStream 510, you will need to close Garmin Pilot, go into your device's Wi-Fi settings, ensure Wi-Fi is enabled, and select your FlightStream 510 from the available connections. To complete the connection, you'll need the password you wrote down previously. Enter the password and then select Join. For future updates with the FlightStream 510, the connection will occur automatically unless your device is currently connected to another Wi-Fi source. Now, restart Garmin Pilot and place your mobile device in a convenient location near the FlightStream 510 to establish the strongest Wi-Fi signal connection and the best transmission speed. The time required for the upload and synchronization process will vary based on the signal strength and the size of the database files set for upload. The time remaining will display on the database page of the G1000 NXI and in your Garmin Pilot application on the Connects page. When you see the database transfer complete message appear on the MFD, press the Close Soft key. Then observe the database syncing process on the AUX Page Group Databases page. When you see the cyan colored double arrows appear between the updated databases and the Restart key becomes available, press the Restart key. Then turn the small FMS knob to the left and press Enter to restart the system. Any active database that was expired will update to the new database upon restart. Note that if an engine is running, the avionics would need to be power cycled to accomplish this restart. After the system restarts, use the FMS knobs to select the AUX page group databases page on the MFD. Here you can verify that the standby database is transferred and are now in the active database column. A couple of things worth noting here are that you should never disconnect power to the system while loading databases. Power interruption during the database loading process could result in maintenance being required to reboot the system. Ensure that both your mobile device and the aircraft battery have an adequate charge before beginning the upload process. Consider the use of an external power unit for your aircraft during large file uploads. Well, that's it for this series covering managing databases for the G1000 NXI system. We hope that you have a better understanding of the processes involved in managing your databases. If you ever need assistance from either Garmin or Jeppesen, contact information can be found on the last page of your handouts. Your Garmin Aviation team thanks you for taking the time to view this video.